Hey everyone, this is me, Diara. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to a new pick a card reading in English. I'm just saying that because I am uploading both in German and English. Just for you to know, just in case you are new. I'm doing this already for more than five years. <laughs> so feel free to scroll through um, my offerings. I have tons of readings out there. And the good news is all these readings are timeless. Okay, so whenever a reading comes to you, whenever you feel drawn to listen to a video, um, it will hold a message. And I'm not saying that like a hundred percent um, it's going to resonate with you. Sometimes it's just one magical sentence that I'm saying. Uh, maybe it's an example that I'm giving. Maybe it's a story that I tell throughout the video. So be open for whatever it is that Spirit wants you to know at that given moment. And having said this, I want to step into this reading here. And this is um, a suggestion from a viewer. Um, and the thing is, we are going to have a look, since we are having summer solstice right now, half of the year is over. So let's have a look into what to expect for the next six months. Like, till the end of the year, what do we need to know? Okay, so make it yours, right? Make it yours. Um, if you have a certain topic in mind, example giving job or love, or friendship, or family, or whatever, um, you can dedicate um, each pile to one of those topics. This is just an example, right? You don't have to do that. Otherwise, just pick one pile. There will be three of them. And yeah, just be open for whatever it is that Spirit wants you to know today. So what do we need to know for the next half year, the next six months, to the end of the year? What's coming in? I'm writing down the 10 stamps for you and you will find them later um, in the description box. Okay, here we go. Yep. Three parts to choose. One, two, three. So if you haven't done so, make your choice. And I'm starting with... Pile number one, and it's 222, two, two, and I love this number. <laughs> okay, so 222, two, two, pile number one, what to expect? What's coming in for you the next six months till the end of the year? The Hierophant, appreciation, respect, feedback, positive feedback. Also, this could be a ceremony, this could be getting engaged, this could be about collaboration, cooperation, but first and foremost, I'm feeling this as the appreciation card. I know this is probably not the traditional explanation and interpretation of this card. Um, obviously, since it's the Hierophant, it has to do with beliefs and maybe religion and stuff. Mm, but to me today, in this context, I would say you can expect people appreciating your work and you as a person. You will probably also reach another level when it comes to your job. So this could very well be um, a job reading, if you will. Um, of course, as I said, it could be about engagement, you know, like moving in, cooperation, collaboration in every meaning of the word. But for some reason, I'm feeling this as a job related reading, reaching the next level, reaching the final um, yeah, promotion that you have been working for, like for a while, maybe. So that's what I'm picking up here. What else? Till the end of the year, what to expect? What's coming in? What do we need to know? Buy the book and cleansing, detoxification. Yeah, you will get rid of everything that you don't need any longer. That could ex in, include friendships, by the way, people, situation, places that no longer suit you, they, you will get rid of them, okay? You will clean up in a big way. <laughs> and I would highly recommend doing it by yourself because otherwise spirit will do it for you. Um, and then by the book is um, confirming that everything that happens, happens for a reason and you will grow, okay? What we see from this card is growth. Okay, making small baby steps and then step by step reaching another level. 
um, another stage. So I, I don't know why, but I really feel like this is the promotion pile here today, pile number one. Right? Maybe you have been looking for something completely different. Maybe you hope for a love-related um, message. And hey, once again, I'm saying it again, it can be about love. Maybe you will reach another level in your love life. Who knows, right? Maybe your love life is accelerating and growing and developing step by step. Um, and maybe this is what you've been working on for a while already. Who knows? It will be different for anyone, right? Because I read for a lot of people. This is a, yeah, this is a general reading, right? Take what resonates and take everything with a grain of salt, always. Reconsider. Yeah, reconsider about what you want and what you don't want anymore. This is Archangel Michael, and he comes along with this massive sword. And this sword is to cut cords with the past. Okay, cut cords with people who are toxic, who no longer you want to have in your life. Think about, reconsider, where do you see yourself in a year from now? Where do you want to be? What's your goal? What's your dream? What's your vision? What's your mission? So dream big and cut out anything that holds you back in whatsoever way. Sometimes... It's just in ourselves, right? I want to point that out as well. Sometimes we are holding ourselves back. What's hindering you? What's the blockage? Myself. I'm the blockage. <laughs> I'm standing in my own way. Who knows, right? For a lot of us, it's that. But sometimes it's someone else, right? So you have to differentiate. And this is probably why we see the reconsideration card here. So Spirit is asking you to reconsider and to think about, okay, honestly, seriously, what's holding me back? Is it myself or is it something else or someone else? What else to expect? Support. Yeah, and I was kind of saying that right in the beginning, right? Um, this is the appreciation card, the feedback card, the collaboration card, the promotion card. I see someone lifting you up, so to say, you know, supporting you, giving you a helping hand. And now we got validation here. This is the support card. Yeah, I love that. So I see um, the next six months for those who have chosen the first pile is going to be um, a successful one. Okay, so the second half of this year is going to be successful. You will get rid of the garbage, you know, the trash, <laughs> so to say. <laughs> um, garbage, right? If you don't know what garbage means, it's French for trash. <laughs> So you will get rid of the garbage, if you want to say it in a little bit of a different way, right? Um, you will make tiny baby steps towards the right direction and something great will grow from it. Okay, so please know this, pile number two. Pile number one, and hey, you may have felt drawn to pile number two as well. So maybe pile number two will hold a message for you as well. Yeah, and here we go. This is the collaboration card right? Um, the relationship card as well. And a relationship is not necessarily just about love, right? We know this. Uh, we have reached a stage where we know that a soulmate is not necessarily your husband. It could be your, your math teacher, right? It could be your aunt. Your aunt can be your soulmate, seriously. And we know that, right? So a relationship, when we see a relationship card, it's not necessarily like talking about love and marriage and engagement. It, it is about support. It's about who do you feel related to? What do you feel related to? What do you want to connect yourself with? With whom do you want to surround yourself with? Generally, when we talk about relationships, it's friendships as well, right? So um, seeing this card... Um, is again um, a message that relationships will develop, they will grow, you will probably meet new people, even if that means you have to cut out others, but that's okay. So just know that letting go is okay, moving on is okay, changing is okay. 
right? For anyone, by the way, not just for you, because maybe you feel someone else is sneaking out of your life, someone else is not contacting you as much as they did before, right? But that's okay, right? It's okay. People change, energy changes, and we have to go with the flow, right? So don't make a drama out of it. Know that this is a transformation going on in your life. You are at a crossroad, so to say. And this cleansing, this letting go, this detoxification process is something natural, okay? It's, happen, it's happening organically and spirit wants you to go with it, okay? So I think I leave it here, you guys. Thank you so much for listening. I hope you liked this reading. Um, if you have a suggestion, feel free to contact me anytime. I'm there and I'm also available for personal readings. Also via WhatsApp, which I feel is a great way. Um, I wish my <laughs> reader would offer something like that. I'm, you know, like if you contact me via WhatsApp, could be that like 10 minutes later you get the answer. I'm saying that generally I need one to two days, but it can go fast, right? And it's a very reasonable price. So if you ever have a short question, <clears throat> make sure to get in touch with me. Okay, peace out, you guys, and namaste. Pile number two. 11.30. What do we need to know for you? The next six months, the rest of the year, whenever you find this reading, what do you need to know? What's coming in? What do we sh focus on? What's, what does Spirit has in store for you generally? Ooh, Wheel of Karma. Wheel of Destiny. Card number 10, something is probably coming to an end or you are right now stepping into a new chapter. Probably this ending already happened. The card was in reverse, that's why I'm saying. So it could be that now after you ended something, after you let go of something, you are about to step into a new phase, a new chapter of your life, right? Wheel of Fortune. And then, yeah, again, the movement card. Mm -hmm. Probably travel. Some of you will travel by the end of the year. Uh, maybe within the next four months, it's getting more concrete. You will make plans about traveling. It doesn't need to be to the other side of the world, right? It could be something just what's in your surrounding, right? Um, Making a trip, I feel, and also moving, a lot of movement happening in your head, okay? You will think about stuff a lot, and again, letting go of something. You see, Eight of Cups, but this ending, this letting go is happening in a very undramatical way, right? There's no drama, no chaos, no conflict, right? These Eight Cups, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, are arranged like precisely in order, right? So this is why I'm saying Eight of Cups is always about a good ending, an ending that you prepared yourself for, I want to say, right? You are prepared and you prepared everything that needed to be prepared before you moved on, right? I hope that makes sense. And I don't know whether you saw it, but there was another card flipping out, which is the two of cups and the two of coins, excuse me. Let me explain you the card. For those who are interested in how to read cards in an intuitive way, coins is about money, finances, it's about being pragmatic, being down to earth, you know, being in our head and trying to make a good decision, right, from our head space. Right, okay, let me think about it, let me figure it out, let me make a plan. And then, here we have the water, the ocean, right, the waves up and down, up and down, which is what the Two of Coins is all about, first of all. It's about gambling, it's about having options, it's about thinking about which way to go. Should I take this one or that one? I don't know, let me think about it. Okay, and then... The combination from earth and water means that 
you are a lot in your head right now. You want to make a, a clever decision. Probably money is involved in this decision as well. But then again, you want to listen to your feelings, your heart, you know, the flow. You want to go with the flow. That's your desire. That's your need, right? You want to feel free. You want to liberate yourself. And that's the dilemma, if you will, right? Being between our head and our heart. Being very pragmatic about stuff, or let me put it differently, trying to make a clever decision, but at the same time, you want to listen to your heart. And maybe your heart is telling you something crazy, like moving to a completely different country without even speaking the language. And everyone out there will tell you you're crazy. You should not do it. But your heart is telling you, yes, I do. I do it. I want to do it and I do it. I follow my heart. All right? It can be either way. So anything else? Pile number two, the next six months, the rest of the year, what to expect. What do we have? Um, yeah, so this is attracting rather than chasing, you know. So this is what I say often. Try to let things happen rather than to making them happen sometimes you like you know both of these energies are valid and needed sometimes we need to make things happen we just have to do it we have to make things happen we have to go for what we dream and so on and so far you get the point but sometimes we need to let go and we have to have faith in spirit and the universe and we have to believe that What's meant to be will be. So this card is encouraging you to attract what you want without chasing it, without being too, you know, fixated on a certain result and outcome. Okay, so yeah, practice gratitude and be humble for everything that you have and Practice being a bit more patient probably as well, right? And know that, again, what's meant to be, it will be. And no one, no one in this world can take it away from you. If something is meant to be yours, whether this is a person or something else, no one in the world can take it away from you, okay? So just know that. Perfect. So I think I leave this here. Thank you so much for listening. I hope you like this reading. Reach out to me if you ever want something personal. Peace out and namaste everyone. Pile number three, the next six months to the rest of the year. What do we need to know? What's coming in? What to expect? <coughs> Ooh, the tower. Surprises. Surprises. Tower moments. Something is happening, something is coming in soon, a change, something unexpected. It depends, is it something good or something bad? Let's see. It's, I think next six months, you will focus on yourself big time, pile number three, big time. This is the mirror card, which is all about working on ourselves, our shadows, but also you know, the light expects, I mean, we carry both of them inside, right? Light and shadow, both of them. And it's about dealing with them, working with them, figuring them out, trying to play with them, you know, go with them. <clears throat> and then this is the wisdom card. So again, I, I kind of feel, and I don't know why we see the tower card here yet, but uh, maybe this is something that you've never done before and it's just like all of a sudden you wake up in the morning and you're like okay I want to go to therapy or I will treat myself with some coaching sessions who knows and maybe that is the tower maybe this is like I have never thought I would do something like that before right but one day I just felt it and I went with my feelings and my intuition maybe this is why we see the tower I don't know but it has to do with yourself 
right? Exploring yourself in a greater way, giving yourself probably more, more space, more freedom. Maybe it's about freeing yourself, liberating yourself from something. Maybe quitting your job just like that without having something else in, you know, um, and just you're like, yeah, quitting because you felt it, because you don't want to work there anymore. <clears throat> Because your intuition, your inner wisdom is telling you to do so. So that could definitely be for some of you. So just like that, quitting your job or getting out of a relationship, which is surprising you as much as it's surprising the other party, right? And what else? The next six months. Three of cups. Yeah, and it is a change to the better. I kind of felt that right away, right? I hope the tower card did not freak you out. Um, we humans, we are so afraid of change. It's a tragedy, really. Like, we are so afraid of change. It's a tragedy. Because change can be something good. And we really have to understand that. Okay, so your change, your tower, is a change to the better. Three of cups, right? So please don't be afraid of the change. Liberate yourself. Move on from something that's no longer good for you. And I feel our inner voice is telling us whether something is good or not good. Whether someone is a friend or a frenemy. Because if someone is pure love and having the, the, the biggest, the best, the highest intentions towards us, I believe we would never ever assume that it could be a frenemy because you know like the energy is, is a complete different energy whereas if someone is a bit sneaky or you know in and out with you you kind of feel it you try probably to not see it but still you feel it and that's when you feel like oh i think it's probably not a friend it's a frenemy you know um, you know what a frenemy is, right? It's the mixture between friend and enemy. And I feel no one is ever bad or not good. Everyone who is in your life is there for a reason, right? These are teachers who teach us something, probably to listen more to our gut feeling, who knows, right? And to not be afraid of changes so much any longer, who knows? The chariot is again all about moving on and reaching um, a goal, a target, a new destiny. So you will definitely move big time. The next six months is all about moving and changing and making changes to the better. And these changes have to do with you first and foremost. Page of Swords, yes, yeah, stand up for what you believe in, speak up, right? Um, this is a karmic situation, it will happen anyways, right? So if you don't make the change, Spirit will, will make it. But again, it's nothing you have to be afraid of. Meditation will bring answers. So meditation is a good way to get in touch with ourselves and with our spirit team and the universe. So you may want to integrate meditation a little bit more within the next couple of months. It's, it's going to be very helpful for you. And yeah, this card we saw already in the first pile and now it's coming up again. It's all about cleansing you know, you will get rid of anything that's holding you back, that's hindering you to be the best version of yourself. And that's what we see, okay? That's what you can expect for the next six months, more or less, depending on when you find this reading. I'm saying six months because it's June, it's summer solstice, the half of the year is over with. But if let's just say you find this reading in October, for, for whatever reason, you just find it in October. YouTube is hiding this reading from you, okay? And you find it in October, then still, it's about the rest of the year, okay? Whatever year it is, because these are all timeless readings, okay? So, yeah, it's all about getting rid, um, cleansing your surrounding, knowing whom you want to surround yourself with and um, 
whom you want to get out of your life, okay? Throw them out. Get rid of them. Get rid of the garbage, as I said in pile number one. I love this word. I just heard it on Instagram and I had to laugh about it. You know, it was like, uh, like get rid of the garbage. And if you don't know what garbage is, it's French for trash, okay? So get rid of the trash in your life. Throw it out of the window. You don't need that anymore, right? You have grown. You have outgrown the drama yeah so get rid of it whether it's places people or situations throw it out get rid of the garbage okay so having that this you guys i wish you only the best um peace out i'm happy to have you here namaste